I use this to replace the factory sub in my O5G Prangler, with some cutting on the console and additional amp. I wasn't impressed initially but I didn't have time to set up the amp slash filters slash power levels properly. I bought a 12 inch RF and an external box but ended up going back to the 8 inch setup after some tweaking and really enjoy it now. Hits pretty good but does not overly vibrate the car to death. Great for a low-key install where you don't want to invest too much because your security system consists of zippers. Warning it is an extremely tight fit to get the console back in as the speaker grill hits the seat. I had to stand on the console to get the screws in and the seat rubs on the grill when you adjust the seat. Edit, I also had to use a large amount of silicon caulking due to my horrible cutting job. I used a vibrating cut tool to get the fins out of the bottom of the console and should have switched to a jig slash scroll saw to make the speaker hole bigger but I just went with what was in my hand. Great bass for an 8 inches shallow sub. I listen to mostly rock and these handle it well. Much better than the stock subwoofer on our 2013 Toyota Sequoia with JBL synthesis. Wired 4 ohm, with a 100 watt max amp, Dayton DTA2. 1 BT, it sounds pretty good. It does get a bit dirty at higher levels in this setup, but provides good bass levels in my garage shelf setup before needing to get that loud. I have it in a Goldwood TR8S box. I replaced the factory Alpine sub in the truck with this one. While I had sub out I dynamated the box, then lightly glued in some polyfill. Sub fit great, not all holes line up so I weather strip sealed the screw holes, then marked them to seal off unused ones and had to drill two new holes for sub cover ring. The bass is much much deeper, you feel it a ton more. As for bass being louder, maybe a little. However, the clarity and feel is night and day. Make sure you order the speaker wire adapters as well. Click link in description for more reviews.